Hello and welcome to Behind the Cellar Door for October 2020. We're coming to you from the past, September 23rd to be exact. That is the day that we are bottling our 2017 Carnal, which most of you will find in your next wine club shipments. Also on this day, we're bottling a 2019 Volato, which is Estate Viognier, and a 2017 Revolution, which is a uh, winema winemaker blend that we have um, featuring Petit Syrah, Tempranillo, and Tanat. It's an interesting blend that I know you can't wait to try. Um, what I'm going to do is bring a couple uh, shots to you here in the cellar and then out on the bottling truck. Uh, you can probably hear the glass rattling around uh, in the background. Uh, we'll probably do some shots on the truck and then come back out to talk about what's going on. Okay? First of all, the wine that we're bottling, and I'm going to be talking about the Carnal specifically, was in barrels. We took the wine out of barrels this past weekend. If you look over here, you can see the empty barrels marked 17 Carnal. Uh, they were used, they were removed from barrel using a free flow uh, system where we don't use pumps. Uh, we actually use nitrogen to pressurize the barrels and move the wine into the tank. Over here are our bottling tanks. Uh, it is mid-morning, so we've already completed the Velado. We're now working on the Carnal. When we started, uh, the wine was above the tasting valve about right here. And now we're about halfway through the blend. And then we'll be moving on to the Revolution tank. And that uh, will probably take us till about 1.30 in the afternoon today. And our, our fall bottling will be completed. Now let's take a couple uh, looks at what's going on in the bottling truck and then we'll talk about it. Okay, I'm standing on the steps of the bottling truck. This is the uh, equipment that puts the wine into the bottles. And we have new bottles of 2017 Carnal making its way into the cases. And so uh, the empty glass is taken out of boxes and put on the conveyor belt. The first machine fills the bottles to exactly 750 milliliters. Then the bottle is corked. After that, a capsule is placed on, the shiny silver thing. Then it makes its way around to the label being applied. After that, the bottle is ready, goes to the beginning of the line or end, and is put in a case box, ready for shipment out to you. I hope you enjoyed your glimpse into the bottling line and the final step in the winemaking process. Now the wines are packaged up and almost ready for shipment. In our next episode, look forward to information about this year's harvest. It'll be the November ep episode, but we'll be talking about the harvest that most likely will happen in the middle of October. We'll have shots of the Primitivo and Cabernet Sauvignon, maybe, but probably not the Movedra, which is always the one that hangs out the longest. Um, look forward to those in our next program. And now, enjoy the rest of the program.